It's 11 trivia questions on Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, a comedy duo that everybody loves. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show, everybody. If you're brand new to the show, it comes out every single day, and you can hit subscribe on your device to never miss an episode. Today we have a great episode for you on Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, who have done a lot of movies together. They were on SNL together. They've hosted the Golden Globes and all kinds of other cool things. So get ready for some questions on them. But before we get to that, I want to tell you where I'm at. I'm at Last Name Brewing in Upland, California, one of my favorite breweries in all the land. And I've hosted trivia here every Wednesday night for going on five years in April 2020. So I started here in 2015, and we've been doing trivia for that long. It's my longest running location in the history of me hosting events. And uh, I know everybody here like a brother, a dad, a sister, and a mom. It's really fun. And we get a pretty big crowd on Wednesday nights. We also do a lot of special events here. And on February 15th, we are going to be doing Friends Trivia, which is going to be tons of fun. I've never done Friends here before. And it is one of my most requested topics whenever I host trivia and do these special events. So you can get tickets on my website. It's at the top of TriviaWithBuds.com. Look for the banner, click on it, and you can have up to eight people on your team. So even more than the core group of friends, which was six, you can have eight people on your team to try and dominate and win a bunch of cool friends-related prizes and some beer swag from Last Name Brewing. Speaking of beer swag, this is their... uh, their big beer that is in a lot of grocery stores and other bars and breweries around here. If you're watching the video at home, this says Pomona Queen. It is a pint glass, which you can buy here. That's one of their new logos for Pomona Queen. And if you like a nice light beer, this is uh, a perfect one to try. If you want to come check out this brewery, the Pomona Queen and their slogan, Long Live the Queen. So check that out. Also, a big event this weekend. If you're watching this video when it comes out, it's called the Brews and Bros Festival. It's a ton of fun. And and it's at the Cable Airport Airfield, which is directly behind where I'm recording right now. You may hear some planes taking off and landing and things uh, on this video. But we are doing a big thing called the Brews and Bros Festival. They've been doing it for a number of years, and I MC it every year. So they have a DJ who plays music, and then I kind of do a bunch of raffles, and we give a bunch of stuff away, and we highlight different breweries. I think there's over 40 breweries uh, in the area that come and check this thing out. So... I will have a booth there. I will be uh, giving out some enamel pins, some new wood burn coasters, some stickers, all kinds of cool stuff for uh, interacting with me and my wife, Ashley, who's going to help me run the table and the booth while I'm doing the emceeing. So check that out, brewsandbrosfestival.com, I think is the name that you go to, and all the proceeds benefit Claremont Area Schools from Claremont, California. All right, guys, that is it for this intro. Get ready for 11 questions on Tina Fey and Amy Poehler right about now. Here we go. All right, here comes question number one for Tina Fey and Amy Poehler trivia. Question number one, what 2008 comedy featuring Tina and Amy is about surrogacy? Question number one, what 2008 comedy featuring Tina Fey and Amy Poehler is about the topic of surrogacy? Question one. Question number two, what wrestler has a cameo in their 2015 movie, Sisters? Question number two, what wrestler has a cameo in their 2015 movie, Sisters? Question number three, who directed the 2019 movie, Wine Country? Was that Tina or Amy? Question number three, who directed the 2019 movie, Wine Country? Was that Tina or Amy? 50-50 question number three. Question number four, what fake SNL commercial featured the pair and an article of clothing with a nine inch zipper? Question number four, one of my favorites, what SNL fake commercial featured the pair and an article of clothing with a nine inch zipper? Question number four. Question number five, what was the name of Tina Fey's hit book from 2011? Question number five, what was the name of Tina Fey's hit book from 2011?
Question number six, on season four of Parks and Rec, Leslie Nope writes a book called Pawnee, but what is the subtitle to the Pawnee book? Question number six, on season four of Parks and Rec, Leslie Nope writes a book called Pawnee, but what is the subtitle to that book? Question number seven, on 30 Rock, Liz Lemon once worked for a sex hotline called 1-900-WHAT. On 30 Rock, Liz Lemon once worked for a sex hotline called 1-900-WHAT. Number seven. Question number eight. In what year did Amy join Tina as a co-anchor on Weekend Update? In what year did Amy join Tina as a co-anchor on Weekend Update? Question number nine. In 2013, what award show did the pair first host together? Number nine. In 2013, what award show did the pair first host together? Two more questions left in this quiz. Here's number 10. What Muppets movie did Tina Fey appear in from 2014? What was the name of the Muppets movie that Tina Fey appeared in in 2014? And number 11, your two-point bonus question. A little bit tougher. Let's see if you can figure it out. Amy did the voice of Joy in Inside Out. How old is the girl she is an emotion of? How old is the main girl that uh, Joy is inside in the movie Inside Out? How old is that girl? That's your two-point bonus question and number 11. All right, we'll be right back in just a second with the answers to Amy Poehler and Tina Fey Trivia. We're back with the answers to Amy and Tina Trivia. Let's see how you did in this quiz with 11 questions. Number one, what 2008 comedy featuring Tina and Amy is about surrogacy? That was Baby Mama. Baby Mama. I can't believe that movie is 12 years old already. I feel like they just came out. Baby Mama. Number two, what wrestler has a cameo in their 2015 movie Sisters? You know I got to throw a wrestling question in as a big wrestling fan. John Cena. When in doubt, guess John Cena. Number three, who directed the 2019 movie Wine Country? Was that Tina or Amy? Tina does appear in the movie in a small role, but Amy directed the film. Amy Poehler. Number four, what SNL fake commercial featured the pair in an article of clothing with a nine-inch zipper? That would be mom jeans. You got Rachel Dratch and everybody's in this one. Uh, Maya Rudolph, I think, is in there. It's a really fun one, and uh, I love it. Nine-inch zipper from mom jeans. Number five, what was the name of Tina Fey's book from 2011? That was called Bossy Pants. I listened to the audiobook of that. It's really good, and I highly recommend it. That was a really high-selling book, and I read that she got $6 million uh, in advance just to write it, and there was a bidding war over what uh, publishing company was going to get her to do that book. Number six on season four of Parks and Rec, Leslie Nope writes a book called Pawnee, but what's the subtitle? It's called Pawnee, the greatest town in America. You know, Leslie loves Pawnee. Number seven on 30 Rock, Liz Lemon once worked for a sex hotline called 1-900-OK-FACE in Chicagoland, I believe. Uh, which I grew up in Chicagoland and they always had weird commercials like that. I guess everywhere does, but uh, late night, I feel like she took that from just like a straight up commercial that you'd see on TV in Chicagoland. One nine hundred OK face. Number eight. In what year did Amy join Tina as a co-anchor on Weekend Update? That was two thousand four. Back in two thousand four, sixteen years ago. Holy cow! And number nine. In two thousand thirteen, what award show did the pair first host together? Uh, together, together. <laughs> they hosted it together. Uh, that was the Golden Globes. I mentioned that in the intro, if you remembered, or maybe you skipped ahead and you missed that one. But uh, Golden Globes. Number 10, what Muppets movie did Tina Fey appear in in 2014? Muppets Most Wanted. I like that sequel. I think it's pretty good. We've got uh, Ty Burrell in there, and uh, I think Ricky Gervais might have a small role. Number 11, for two points, Amy did the voice of Joy in Inside Out. How old is the girl she is an emotion of? This was the 11th question, and the answer was 11. So there you go. It's an 11-year-old girl in Inside Out. That is your quiz for today, guys. I hope you had fun playing along or listening or shouting out the answers or writing them down. However you consume the podcast, I hope it was dandy. 
If you want to support the show, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and throw a few bucks my way, and I'll send some cool stuff your way in the form of rewards every single month. I'm getting ready to send out the January ones this week as soon as I get my new enamel pins of the Trivia with Buds logo in, which should be Wednesday. So everything should go out by Friday this week. And uh, you can join for just a buck. You get a digital newsletter. You get access to a chat room where we post a bunch of pop culture stuff and more quizzes and more fun, interactive stuff. And uh, you can donate up to 50 bucks or more. You can donate whatever you want. But for 50 bucks a month, you get all the rounds that I use at all my live trivia nights. So if you're a trivia host or you need a lot of content, that might be the tier for you. Uh, it's time for the question of the day, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Check them out at fmdesignsinc.com. They are currently working on some bottle openers and some koozies for me to give away at that Brews and Bros Festival that I mentioned in the intro. So uh, come get one of those from me for interacting with me at this festival. And uh, check out fmdesignsinc.com for all your printing and design needs. Today's question of the day is, introduced in 1998, what was the world's first three... And today's question of the day is, introduced in 1998, what was the world's first three-bladed disposable razor? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Alfred Pennyworth, the full name of Batman's butler. And your team name of the day is Lulu Lemonheads. Lulu Lemon and Lemonheads gives you Lulu Lemonheads. Use that one next time you play Team Trivia. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about the show, and we'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers!